The next day, Lord Daniels bought a pizza. Uh-huh. And stole pizza. Robbed the pizza man. He, here, here I come to save the day. Oh, day. Like, yeah, he came and put the statue in my room. Oh, shit. They were looking for the pizza. They found it in my room. They kicked me out the camp. They made me go home. Lloyd fucking Daniels. He, yeah. I, and he wound up, he wound up, he wound up going to UNLV. You know, yeah, first yeah. Of all, first when he left, he got shot. Yeah. He got shot. Stole crack. Then, he was you know, got caught in the crack house. Kicked uh, him out of school. Then he went down to Texas. So it's another school or then something. He, then, he went, then he made pro. Yeah, then yeah. They called him up. He made a pro. He, was, he still went pro from all that. All that shit. That's how nice everybody was. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, after, and that's after he he got shot. He went. My pops died. He went to he went to Thomas Jefferson High School, I think, in that's Brooklyn. Right, he, did. He, he, he definitely did. And Thomas Jefferson. Then he came to Jackson. He came to my school. Oh, he went, Oh, you played. Oh, you, oh, so that's how you know him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lloyd played at my school. The Spurs that's and Blazers crazy. at the break in Portland as the Reebok halftime report continues. There's no way you can sugarcoat the comeback story of Lloyd Daniels. A playground legend in New York, he never graduated from high school, couldn't read or write. He suffered from dyslexia. Jerry Tarkanian recruited him at UNLV, but he never played there. You see, Lloyd Daniels was a drug addict. He was arrested at a crack house in Las Vegas, and a couple years later in 1989, back home in New York, he almost died in a drug-related shooting. That 1992 finds Lloyd Daniels in the NBA is nothing short of remarkable. Reunited with Tarkanian in San Antonio, Daniels hopes there's a peak in what has been a lifetime of valleys. Here's Craig Sager. He still carries a bullet in his back, suffered in that fateful shooting. But for Lloyd Daniels, the emotional scars from that stage in his life run much deeper. It ain't the bullet. I can get shot 20 times. You got to be tired, you know, running the streets of Brooklyn at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, worry about where you're going to get the next high from. And it ain't about money in basketball. It's about your life. When he got into all his problems, he'd call me regularly and you know, I would, I would converse with him. I never thought that he'd ever totally recover. First of all, I never felt that he'd ever get straight uh, with his life because generally when you're involved that long and that hard, it's, it, it takes an unusual person to straighten out his life. Lloyd's life began to unswerve after intervention and counseling through a rehab program run by former player John Lucas. And I was real hesitant because you believe what you read. And Lloyd came over. Lloyd was a great guy. He has worked very, very hard. Uh, on his own recovery. You got to stay around good people, and you got to go to meetings. You got to want to do it. You got to want to say, hey, I got a problem, and I can't go around this guy drinking beer and using drugs. Just That's the only way you're going to make it in life, because if I go back to drugs and alcohol, I'm going to die. For Lloyd, the road to success and his present birth with the Spurs has been filled with highs and lows and dead ends that would defy most Las Vegas odds makers, as well as underwriters at Lloyd's of London. But having passed Jerry Tarkanian for the second time in his career has pointed Daniels in the right direction. After Lloyd's basketball odyssey through the GBA, CBA, and USBL, the Tark became impressed. As soon as I knew Lloyd was clean, that he wasn't involved in drugs, there was no doubt I was going to bring him here. And I had no doubt that he'd make the team. As he arrived in San Antonio, Daniels' new teammates were cognizant of his often troubled past. I guess when I met him, uh, I was expecting to meet this uh, kind of gangster guy a little bit. And just by the changes that, you know, the people that know Lloyd have seen in his life, they know that he's changed. Now Lloyd's once legendary talents are finally being unveiled in the NBA. While Lloyd Daniels adjusts to life as an NBA rookie, even he still can't believe where he is or from where he has come. Hi, Brooklyn. <laughs> My life is so good today. I feel so great because I never knew it could be this good. You know, I got a job. I got a little baby. I got good friends around me. You know, I'm around David Robinson, Sean Elliott, all these guys. Whoever thought Lloyd Daniels would be hanging out with these guys? Whoever thought Lloyd Daniels would be up running up and down that court, dribbling the basketball, playing against guys like Isaiah? And that's just like a dream come true. You know, it's just the greatest feeling of my life, you know, just being out there. That is an amazing story. Lloyd Daniels playing in his ninth NBA game tonight. He has got five points, a couple of rebounds. He's averaging 15 points a game for the San Antonio Spurs, who lead the Blazers by one. And the Reebok Halftime Report continues after this.